welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bridget. The man behind the camera is the beard. The beard. And this is the channel Brit and the Beard. And in today's video, we are doing a dessert for Crocktober. It is a very big collab that a bunch of lovely ladies on YouTube are doing. We, I will have a playlist down below in the description box thingy so you can go check them out. If you do check them out, subscribe or comment on their videos, let them know that I sent you just because it would be nice but anyways this is hosted by katie from life with the love days super wonderful mama and youtube person i guess i don't really know but anyway she came up with this so it's going to be pretty cool there's going to be lots of recipes to choose from and my particular recipe is going to be a dessert recipe what well, it's called i don't know hold on um, <laughs> um, sorry. It's called, um, Slow Cooker Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Swirl Cake. That is what it is called. Can't forget the little TM after the Reese's. Trademarked. Yeah. Legal. Gotta keep it legal. Well, it's, uh, <laughs> peanut butter cup cake Remember. swirl thing. Yeah. I don't know. So I'll just keep it whatever. But I will leave the recipe. For you guys so if i'm looking at my phone i'm sorry because the recipe's on my phone but you'll need a crock pot the beard killed my pioneer woman crock pot it was so an accident I got this with one. a jar of pickles yeah he was getting a jar of pickles out of the cabinet and i just washed my crock pot and down came the pickles and spot goes crock pot so there's that the pickles were okay though no pickles were harmed my pickles were harmed in the killing of my crock pot. So we actually got this from a yard sale that we found. So this is my replacement one and it works good. So you need one box of Bay Crocker Super Moist Jello Cake Mix, a cup of water, three eggs, one half cup of creamy peanut butter, one third cup butter softened, a half a cup of chocolate flavored syrup, and for the topping, you need three tablespoons of creamy peanut butter, two to three tablespoons of milk, one cup powdered sugar, two tablespoons of the chocolate syrup, and 20 Reese's peanut butter cups unwrapped and cut in half. We actually have 40 because it is unwrapped miniature miniatures. Okay, well, yeah, we have all that. So the first thing you're gonna do is spray your crock pot and put it on high because you're gonna cook it on high. Just spray it so it doesn't stick. So my crock pot has been overly sprayed. In a large bowl, beat the cake mix, water, eggs, half cup peanut butter, and the butter with electric mixer on low speed. Okay, so here's my bowl, my cake mix. I don't have an electric mixer. I need to get one, so I'm doing it the old fashioned way. Okay, so now that it's all mixed and very pretty looking, the next thing I'm going to do, it says, remove two-thirds of the cup, two-thirds cup of the batter to medium bowl, stir in one-half cup chocolate syrup to make chocolate butter. So remove, remove two-thirds cup, is that what I said? Two-thirds cup. So we've got another bowl. And if you guys are curious, these bowls are Pioneer Woman. I got them... For my anniversary mm -hmm. from Walmart. So here's the mix, and then what do I do? And one half cup chocolate syrup. So where's the chocolate syrup? This one. Mm -hmm. The beard got the ingredients ready for me. Ooh, don't that look good. 
So there's that. Spoon one half of the peanut butter batter into the slow cooker. So I'm gonna grab a spoon, a big spoon that has holes in it, but it will work. It's not really cooking if you're not making a ginormous mess. So we're going to spoon half of it in the hair. And you guys, I did wash my hands after the eggs, so I just want you guys to know that. So, um, followed by all of the chocolate fudge batter. So now I'm going to put all of this lovely chocolate fudge batter on top of it. So we're just making like a little center. Next, we're gonna switch it out. There we It's all over my phone. Spoon the other half of the peanut butter into the slow cooker, followed by all the chocolate fudge butter. So and then top the with the remaining peanut butter batter, swirl with a knife. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Getting me a snack. So now all you gotta do is top it with the rest of The original peanut butter batter. And nothing wants to come off of my screen. You want to take your knife, a butter knife, and just swirl it. That looks good. Yeah. Next. Cover, cook on high heat setting for one hour and 45 minutes to two hours and 15 minutes until the toothpick inserted in center left comes up clean. Turn off the slow cooker and cover and remove ceramic base from cooker to cool. And then we will do the topping. So this is what it looks like at this stage. I will be back when it cook, when it's fully cooked and we will finish it. So I'll see you guys in a little while. Okay guys, we're back. So. We all I did was turn the crock pot off. I'm gonna unplug it. This has been cooling for 15 minutes. It didn't have a wire rack, so I kind of improvised. And this is what it looks like when it's cooled down. The way that you know it's done is you take a toothpick, 
you insert it and if it comes out clean it's done like a regular cake so now we're going to make the topping for it which is just the powdered sugar mm, peanut butter which i'm going to use this fork it's three tablespoons of peanut butter this? two tablespoons of chocolate syrup two to three tablespoons of milk so you gotta like add the milk slowly yep and then i'm just gonna add a little bit to start with mix it really well make a mess it was not cooking with Brit most of there's a mess made you got that right you just want to add the milk in slowly because you may need it all and you may not it really just depends Make it a little bit thinner because I want mine to be a little bit thinner. And then, once it's combined, I'm going to drizzle it over the cake. Monster wants to play. Hold on, buddy. Let me finish this, okay? I'm just gonna smooth it out, and then I'm gonna put the Reese's pieces on top of it, and then it's ready to eat. You do it so pretty. <laughs> I'd have just dumped them. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> They're fine. Let's dump it. But then you just make it look however you want, and then it is ready to eat. So, Ooh, yum, yum, yum. this is our contribution recipe to the Crocktober Crockpot thing. Like I said, we'll leave everybody's, there'll be a playlist down below for the really awesome things. And thank you, Katie, for coming up with this, I guess, and getting it all organized and being the, the leader of the show, I guess you would say. But anyways, thank you everybody for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. Please leave it a thumbs up. And I swear I wish smell vision was a thing because it smells so good. But this is what it looks like. That is our... our that and the strawberry jam cooking in the back. Yeah. Makes the, oh, this is our Crocktober contribution. Monster, you want to look? Look in here and tell me what... Does it look good? Yeah. Does it smell good? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You want some after dinner? Okay. But thank you guys. Say thank you. Uh, tell, them to, you. tell them to like it. Like it. Subscribe. Thanks guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.